Good morning. Yeah, you have hiccups? You just had food. Yummy. Hey. Hello. Good morning. Oh, it's just nice to wake up to sun sunshine. Good morning. Good morning. This is my sunshine for the morning. Good morning. The other one just gave me a kiss and went to go use the potty. So. Hi. Hello. Hey everyone, so it's the morning and I'm just gonna go down here and grab a coffee for Yusuf and I. Uh, it's beautiful, it's still a little bit chilly so I should have worn my cardigan, I'll probably wear that again later. I fed his hawk, he's taking a quick nap and today man is with his dad so I'll show you guys the, the coffee that we're grabbing. I love supporting local coffee shops whenever we go anywhere so we're trying out this place called Cafe Pico and it looks nice it's kind of like one of those co-op uh, shops or cafes so we've got some food here and I'll show you guys upstairs so I'm back and I got my coffee here I got mine with oat milk so my first time trying oat milk I think it's okay it's not as creamy as coconut milk in my perspective but Yeah, it's good. Use the fire truck. And then I got the vanilla latte and I also got my husband that. And then I also got a nice sandwich because French are notorious for their sandwiches. So this one is vegetarian. It has like carrots and cucumbers and cilantro and like a mayo type thing, spicy and on a baguette and it's really nice. So we're just now en route to go see a beautiful waterfall here in Quebec City. I think it's about half an hour from Quebec City. Uh, we've been on the road for maybe about 15-20 minutes anyway, so we should be there shortly, inshallah. <laughs> yeah! So as you can see on the side here, I'm feeding his hawk. Uh, that's actually why I sit in the back. It's just so then I can feed him because he still feeds every hour. And he takes about 4-5 to five ounces, which is what he drinks during the day. Um, as he does that, I'm also pumping. I'm using my LV pump, so it's so helpful for any moms that are on the go or like in situations like this where we are trying to get somewhere but I can't spend half an hour or more nursing him. I prefer to just give him this uh, Boon Nourish bottle and then I can pump in the car and that way we can kind of multitask and get to where we want to go on time. So I'm going to show you guys this amazing view. You can see the water. I think this is a lake. Yeah, it's, it's part of the St. Lawrence, I believe. We're just gonna head there. I'll show you guys the beautiful view. I'm so excited to see this waterfall. It's supposed to be a really, really nice one here in Quebec City. Look how beautiful this beautiful flower bush tree is. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Just as we arrived here, this little guy had a major blowout and it just went everywhere <laughs> of course it was like literally a 20 25 minute drive and that's what we <laughs> arrived to so i quickly changed him he's in a new outfit now alhamdulillah he should be okay i think he'll get hungry again because he just did that <laughs> story of my life i swear this kid's just like constantly feeding and constantly pooping anyone else in the same boat as i am but we arrived here anyways and it's so stunning guys you have to look at it it looks picturesque like mashallah i've I didn't expect it to be this beautiful. Good job. This is the walk towards the falls. 
we're just taking a detour so he can run around because he just saw this empty field and decided to explore. Yeah, hi! Come! <laughs> Where'd Baba go? <laughs> You're so cute! Oh, no! Where's your Wawa? He got a little scratch yesterday. <laughs> He's so cute and little. Look at that. I love this jacket. This was a good find, actually. This is also from Winners. It matches his shoes perfectly. Come, come. Bring the stick here. Be careful, okay? You can bring one. You can bring one. Don't run with the stick. Okay, good job. Yeah, I'll leave one. No, don't run with a stick. No running with a stick. If you want to run, you drop the stick. You throw it. You can walk. Let's go. Look at the cute little park. So they meant, of course, run to it right away. <laughs> that's perfect though. Especially when you have toddlers to have a park that's close to an area that he might not find as interesting. Park is perfect. He's like, where am I? You're looking at the falls. Yes, my love. Look. I'm oh. wearing the mask because uh, oh. it's underneath the gazebo. Oh. I'll show you guys it in just a second. Oh, look how high up you are. This is by a restaurant here. This is a restaurant. So it's right on the water, which is just behind us over here. Very French, I love it. Found a Japanese store here. Mm -hmm. How was it used? It was good. Oh, I did it oh. wrong. This is like the onigiri we had in um, Japan. Mm. Onigiri. I can never do it right. Isn't there the instructions? It's it, it is. I just did it wrong. Oh, okay. It's very hard. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you'll tell us if it's any good at least. So they have like a Japanese store and he bought some onigiri. Mm. Spicy salmon. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Got some more here. You want a bite, Bobby? Oh, it's spicy? It's not a donut, no. Mm -hmm. It's roots. It's mm. <laughs> He's like, no thanks. Hey, everyone. So I was just feeding his hawk, and now we have these onigiri that uh, Yusuf got from the Japanese store. It says to pull tabs, so I'm just going to follow that instruction. 
I think you have to pull it. Oh no! I don't want to mess this up. Let's see. It's hard to pull the tab with the tape. This one's spicy salmon. Okay, so here we go. And then it says after you pull the tab, you pull these off to the side. Okay. I have lots more. Okay. And it looks just like this. Let's take a bite. It's not a kind of thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it has a spicy salmon, the sushi rice, and then this is the nori sheet, the seaweed. It's nice and warm too. This is not cold. And I don't think the salmon is raw. Yeah, it's cooked. So if you want a warm sushi, you can try the onikiri. This reminds me of Japan. This is very good. And then he got me a bubble tea. I have not had bubble tea in a long time. And this one is with, as you can see, soy milk. Mmm. I love taro tea. This one, uh, like I said, is taro and it's with soy milk. And I think it's also from the same store. I'll link the store or I'll have it somewhere here for you guys to check out. And then Yusuf also got a bunch of Japanese snacks. They got like this corn one. They have the coolest chips in Japan. That's something we really enjoyed when we traveled there. And if you haven't seen um, our Japanese travel vlogs, I'll link them somewhere here in a playlist. But my husband and I, before we had today men, we went to Japan and it was one of the best experiences of my entire life because I got to go with both my best friends. So come to that, it was a really nice experience. We got some Pocky green tea ones, strawberry, we'll see how today men likes those, and chocolate ones. Pocky is one of my favorite things ever. I know it's like super, I guess, <laughs> overrated maybe for some people, but for me, I love Pocky. You can't go wrong with the classic. So I'm just gonna have a quick bite to eat and then I'll show you guys what we're up to next. I think we're gonna go see the Chateau more uh, during the daytime. We saw it yesterday around the golden hour in the evening and then maybe we'll see the fort walls. Uh, right now it's Hawk is taking a quick nap. I just fed him, as I said earlier. And so then is jumping on the bed. That's all the ruckus you can hear. So we're gonna see if he'll take a nap. Probably not. He doesn't usually nap like this on vacation. So. We'll see, but we're gonna go out again and I will show you guys that. Yeah. Until then, I'm gonna munch on this because it's so good. <laughs> so our hotel pool is open and it's totally empty and we're gonna go swimming and enjoy this time to ourselves. How nice is that? A whole pool to ourselves and look, it's overlooking the street. takeout from a place called Ono Izakaya, which is a known restaurant here in Quebec City. I'm so excited. Got some, what, miso soup somewhere in here? Oh, this is the rice. Oh, I'm excited. Let's open this up. Let's open this up. Oh, that's calling my name. And that's calling my name. You can never go wrong with seafood. It's so good. Oh, yuzu soda. Yum. That sounds so good. Oh, yum. We got some dumplings, salad, some tataki here, lollipop, <laughs> salmon, okonomiyaki, rice, some kind of fried thing, more fish, and tofu. I'm so ready to try this. Looks so Good yummy. Thanks. Thing. Here we go. Yeah, the with your Let's hand. try it. Take a bite. I'm going straight for the good stuff. Pancake. Straight for the tataki. It has like some kind of sauce that it comes with. Might be spicy, we'll see. You want me to show you how you do it? Take a bite. 
that's not to miss. So good. We'll try some rice. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Really? What's this? Some kind of salad? Mmm, potato salad. vegetable it's so good and has some kind of garnish um, cucumber and yuzu I think mm. Mm -hmm. that's so good mashallah. this is a yuzu soda you gotta try this this is where it's at these tiny eggs look that's really refreshing quail eggs mm -hmm. with her so this is yours, this is your... I'm not making all that. No, no, What's this one? That's the chicken. Mm, very good. Would recommend, this place is definitely yeah. good. 10 to 4 10. All right, everyone, so we're back in the car and we're on our way to Chateau Frontenac again. We wanna see, um, I think it's the wall that we're going to go see right now. It's a nice route that we're taking this time. Uh, the dinner that we had was fantastic. I would highly, highly recommend it. Quebec City, especially this part, I think this is called Old Quebec. It reminds me very much of Old Montreal with the cobblestone type roads and it has a very beautiful um, architecture. So it's gorgeous. I'm just in the back with Suleiman and his hawk. I'm feeding Suleiman and I was feeding his hawk as well. Yeah, because this little kiddo does not take naps <laughs> during vacation. It's very difficult to get them to, to take their naps. There's just major FOMO, fear of missing out. They want to see what's going on. They want to look around and play and we're basically on the go for a lot of it. So we allow it because we know we're going to go back on schedule anyways once we get home. So right now we're just enjoying it. I'm going to show you guys now what uh, this area in Quebec looks like because it's also a very beautiful viewpoint. See up there, that's where Chateau Frontenac is. This is called Sous le Montagne, or Sous Frontenac. So at the bottom of uh, Chateau Frontenac basically. This is the bottom of the mountain. So this is the lower level of Chateau Frontenac and you can see, as I said, it's right behind me up there, the Chateau. And all along the street are beautiful restaurants and little uh, kind of alleys and roads that are all cobblestone just over there. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Let's go. Today man went straight for these stairs. How did I know my son would go straight here? Motorcycle. I like it. A motorcycle. Wow. Chateau Frontenac. Hijab is totally ruined with this <laughs> mask on my chin, but I keep putting it down so I can talk. This is how I wear it when I'm not on camera, just so you guys can see my face. Otherwise, you're gonna see me look like this the whole vlog. <laughs> he wants to go for the water. Of course, this was much higher just a second ago. See, it goes low and then it goes back up again. Here we go. See, good time. Wow, you see the Bakur smoke. Look, look at the smoke. 
is playing there by the mist in the water and then behind me over here there are the mountains and this camera is not doing it justice because they're actually pretty big when you look at them from here so they're beautiful and then there's the water that I was talking about and then still facing behind me Chateau Frontenac so this is definitely a very nice uh, sightseeing spot and there's people running along this area I think it's similar to like the lakeshore for people who live in Quebec City so this is a nice area to walk around Anyone who comes to the city, Not definitely come and see huh? this guy here. He's wonderful. Bye bye. Thank you. Say merci. Thank you. And that's the end of day two. If you like these vlogs, please be sure that you hit up the like button to support my channel. I appreciate comments, all that good stuff. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.